the fame is something that was a plus or a negative. I didn't really know how that would work. And so While not the most talked about wide receiver in the league over the past couple of years, Devontae Adams seems determined to put his name back in the conversation after he stole the spotlight during the entire 2020 season. No doubt to be considered the top receiver in the National Football League, Devontae Adams, alongside Aaron Rodgers, led the way for the Green Bay Packers to becoming one of the best and most well-rounded teams of the decade. And although they fell short to Brady and the Buccaneers in the battle for the NFC Championship, it doesn't take away from the huge strides and accomplishments they made throughout the season, especially by Devontae Adams. So now that we all know what he's about on the field, want to know beyond that? What else do you really want to know about this star receiver? In today's video, we'll take a deeper look and reveal 8 things you may never have known about Devontae Adams. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you're a fan of Devontae Adams. Also, if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Number 8. Multi-Sport Athlete Coming out of Palo Alto, Devontae Adams was a catalyst in leading his high school football team to a CIF state championship. Starting at both wide receiver and cornerback during his senior year, he wasn't just a football player. He's an all-around athlete, having lettered in basketball every single year during his high school career. While not very tall, he was able to be an overtight player, having averaged about 9 points a game as well as about 6 rebounds and 5.5 and assists. Devontae is a smart athlete. Being able to conquer two sports and using the size he has to be able to do whatever it takes to contribute to his team's success. He was considered to be a two-star recruit when it came to basketball. He even received a scholarship to Fresno State to play both football and basketball. He accepted the scholarship, but later on decided he wanted to commit to football and excel at it, which no doubt he did. Number 7. Played at Fresno State with Derek Carr His strategy to concentrate on football was a great idea. He went on to play with future Pro Bowl quarterback to the Las Vegas Raiders Derek Carr. The scouting coach referred to Derek Carr as Jesus, which was an intriguing enough pitch to get Devontae to come to play for the Bulldogs. Devontae believed that Derek was the best quarterback in the nation in 2013 and was distraught about the fact that he wasn't nominated for more awards after the season. The two dominated during their two seasons at Fresno State together, so much so that they were able to elevate their draft stock, the two ended up getting drafted in the second round. Quite the accomplishment considering they were playing for a non-BCS team in the Mountain West Conference, nothing like the SEC or Pac-12. When the two were slated to compete against each other during an NFL preseason game, Derek joked that he knew all of Devontae's moves and could cover him at quarterback. Devontae joked that he could easily light up some average dude who thought he could compete with the big boys. Number 6. Set College Records Devontae was a force to be reckoned with during his college days, having set several records for the Bulldogs. Not only records for Fresno State, but also a few for the Mountain West Conference as a whole. In his 2013 season, he was the national leader in reception, yards and touchdowns, tallying 131 receptions for 1,719 yards and 24 touchdowns all of which were records for Fresno State and the Mountain West Conference. He was so far ahead of the rest of the pack, he had eight more touchdowns than the second place finisher. The 24 touchdowns rank as the fourth most in a single season in FBS history. In his career at Fresno State, he set records for receptions and touchdown receptions, even though he only played two seasons for the Bulldogs. After his monster season in 2013, he thought it would be wise to declare for the NFL draft. I mean, how can you top a season where you lead the nation in multiple categories. He made the right call, certainly. Number 5. Had Struggles Early On His transition from college football to the NFL was as seamless as can be. His rookie season had him beginning in the fourth wide receiver slot. Granted, it was a very deep position for the Packers, and by the end of the season, he had moved up to the number three receiver. In his sophomore season, he started the season with an ankle injury, resulting in three games missed. Once he returned, he seemed to struggle with dropping the ball, having done so 12 times over the 96 throws his way. Pro Football Focus had him ranked as the 118th receiver of 119, and fans were very disappointed with him. He still managed to stay in the rotation until the playoffs where he injured his knee and was thus out for the remainder of the year. However, Adams was disappointed in himself after the season and knew he needed to make some serious strides over the offseason. Number 4 broke Sterling Sharp's record. Adams had his breakout year in 2018, 
almost catching Sterling Sharp's record of 112 receptions where Adam had 111. He was only one shy, but it is quite the statement considering the record has stood since 1993. It may just have been the fuel Adams needed to set the league on fire, because in 2020, Devontae officially broke the 27-year-old Packers record, catching 115 balls from Aaron Rodgers, the quarterback known for spreading the ball around his receiving core. Sharp believed he was even going to break his touchdown record that has stood since 1994, but Devontae Adams was only able to tie the record at 18. It's not an easy feat he accomplished and was able to nail two records cementing him into the Packers record books. Number 3. Married his college sweetheart Devontae met Devon Villarreal while the two were attending Fresno State. They got together and haven't been apart since. Devon's mother was a model, and you can tell it runs in the family. The two got married in Pebble Beach in 2018 after Devontae took Devon on a trip to the Bahamas where he proposed to her on the beach. After the wedding, the two took their honeymoon to Santorini, Greece and away from the people. The married couple had a child in September 2019, a little girl named Daja Leigh Adams. The two are an incredibly happy couple and are constantly seen together on Instagram full of joy. Number 2. Made Chad Ochocinco Cry Back in 2019, Chad Ochocinco published a video of him tearing up after watching some of Devante's route running in practice. He was truly humbled and appeared authentic when discussing Devante's abilities. He talked about how he wasn't an actor and wasn't putting on any type of show over this. He was amazed by his ability. He struggled to even get the words at how amazed he was by the tape. He was able to talk about how excited he was just to see him play the following week. Devante is Chad Ochocinco's favorite player to watch, and with every week, he continues to get more impressed by his skill. He knows his stats are dazzling, but he just gets so riled up watching him run routes. Ochocinco thinks that what Adam does is more than just root running, it's something more, where he can manipulate the coverage to make himself wide open. Chad Ochocinco still believes he can cover Adams though, and be able to shut him down at his age. Sure he can, Ochocinco. Number 1. Already Prolific NFL Career Devontae Adams has turned his career around after his tumultuous start in the NFL. He has only 2,000 yard seasons, but has still been selected to the Pro Bowl the last four years running. In 2020, he was named as the first-team All-Pro wide receiver, his first time being named as such. He even led the league in touchdowns at 18. He impressed the Green Bay Packers staff so much that back in 2017, he was given a new $58 million contract over four years to keep him around as a valued weapon in the offense. 2020 has been his standout year, having broken Sterling Sharp's reception record and tying his touchdown record. It's hard to see him slowing down anytime soon, as he has become Aaron Rodgers' favorite target. Devontae Adams will be around for years to come, and most of his Green Bay is hoping for a new contract for the star wide receiver. He's been able to overcome a bit of adversity and hasn't had much of a bad season ever during his entire college and NFL career. He is a true asset to the league, and a very well-rounded person in every other aspect. He will no doubt go down as one of the all-time greats. And with that being said, we end the video here. What are your thoughts on Devontae Adams and what he has been able to accomplish? Is he on your list of top receivers? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to leave us a like and make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Until next time.